And this is my next bicycle project. This is a Trek Navigator 2.0. It's a comfort bike, ladies bike, and it's a step-through bike. Bought this off the local Facebook marketplace. Person bought this and just never rode it, covered up in the garage. It's in just excellent condition. The tires are flat on it. It's got a lot of debris on it. Just a very well-made bike. Love finding ones like this to bring back to use again. Been sitting for many years. This is a 21-speed bike. It's got grip shift, seven speeds or gears on the rear. And three on the crank. There's a lot of dust and debris on here. It is really dirty all the way around. It's got Bontrager tires on it that are flat. Chain is just full of cobwebs as well as the spokes. SRAM derailleur. Suntour crank here, Shimano. Shifter, derailleur on that. Mm. Front tire is also flat. I have to take this off and straighten this valve stem on it. Check the spokes once I get this on the bike stand. These are 26 by 195 tires on here. Got a coal spring suspension shock. And this is the size. Way too small for me. This is a 16 and a half inches, 42 centimeter. Trek, Waterloo, Wisconsin. It looks like it was bought from Zane Cycles in Brantford, Connecticut. Alpha aluminum frame. Got quick release wheels on it. Looks like a stitched leather seat also by Bontager. And matching grips. Isn't that nice? find bikes like this you look for rust where the screw holes are don't see any just in really nice condition pedals look good reflectors are still on there doesn't hardly look like they were used she said she had ridden this twice I'm not sure how far that was or if that be true reflectors on here that pedal looks good what I like about Trek and some high-end bikes is they put the cables inside the frame, grommets out, put that back in. Just gets the cables out of the way. That side as well. It looks like they have a cyclometer on here, a wired. Keeps up with the miles and how fast you're going. It's got Trek name. It looks like the wire is broken on this. Probably take this off. It's got the sender unit mounted here. And I guess that's the magnet here. It spins around. Most of these are wired now. They're wireless. Nice hubs. Check the spokes later. Gonna fix this up and find a new owner. Just a gorgeous, really nice condition bike. It even has a bell on it. So we're gonna put this on the bike stand. We're gonna give this a good cleaning. Probably take that front tire off and get that valve stem straightened. Get everything lubed and working back on here. And then we'll give this a ride. I have to jack the seat up a little bit. 
we find this bike a new owner. So let's mount this on the bike stand and go through it. And we got the bike on the bike stand. First thing we're going to do is just blow all this debris off. <laughs> this valve stem. There we go. Now let's put some air in this tire. And I got the air hose connected. Let's see if we can pump some air in this front tire. I was able to get air in the rear tire as well. Let's see if both of them will hold air. I don't fill both of them up all the way. Let those tubes reseat in there. Looks really smooth without even doing anything to it yet. So I don't like using a water hose on a bike. That causes future corrosion. So I just like using a mixture of window cleaner and white distilled vinegar on here and it's going to take a number of times to just spray this down and wipe all this off so let's get this cleaned up this bike's going to look like brand new and just use an old toothbrush to go over everything get all the cobwebs out do a different cleaning on the chain kind of doing basic cleaning around everything now getting all this debris off here and here's the trek now all cleaned up I actually had to use a water hose and some car wash and wax it had so much debris on it it just wouldn't clean up even put some car wax on it to bring all the shine looks really nice clean these tires up now it can show the white letters on here all these spokes are true on here there is none loose I took that cyclometer off that wire was broke and I put a battery in it and it wouldn't cut on anyway I think it's much cleaner without it and I used some PB blaster to clean this chain got the rust off now we're gonna put some wax lube on here it looks really good now was really rusty and there's some rust on these gears as well so it cleaned up pretty nice still got some spots of rust but no big deal pulled all the points of the brakes here make sure they weren't sticking and now we're going to put some white lightning clean ride wax lube on this chain which will make it really smooth and to put this wax lube on i brought the chain all the way out to the seventh gear here so it won't drip on the wheels and slowly crank this and add this lube on here and then just wipe off all the excess now the gears shift really well on here And here's the Trek Navigator 2.0, all cleaned up now. I'm going to do a neighborhood ride here. It's really too small, so can't really take it on the trail. But it's just a turned out to be a beautiful bike. Tires are holding air. Got rid of most of all this rust now. And lube the chain. Gears shift really well on it. And got rid of this wired cyclometer or speedometer, whatever it was. Give this a much cleaner look now, removing that. It didn't work anyway. Just a gorgeous bike. Brand new, really, that hasn't been used. Just sit in someone's garage, covered with debris, and the tires were flat. Beautiful day. Let's give it a short ride around the neighborhood here.
Track 2.0, brought back to use.